Mm. Hi again guys, uh, back for another one. This one's a requested video once again. Um, a lot of guys want to know how to sharpen knives and more specifically um, fillet knives. So what I'm going to do in this one is to show you how I sharpen my fillet knives. But I'm going to be using wet stones. Okay, I don't, I don't use steels. I can't really, I don't particularly like steels too much. I prefer to use a stone. These are a wet stone. And before we get into it, I'm uh, just going to let you know there's a, you buy, buy a few different grades of stones, okay? I'll just give you a quick rundown of what they're for and which one you should buy to start off with. Okay, so the stones, when you buy them, a lot of stones will come. Nowadays, they'll have the gradings on the side, some, or they'll tell you, okay? So you can see the two-tone. Okay, so the top one should be the 400. That's the roughest. 400 is the roughest one. That's really rough. And then you've got the 1,000. That's the common one. That's one most of us use. Like, if you're looking, for, you're not too sure what grade to buy, usually buy 1,000. 1,000 is a, a, good, a good stone. I mean, a good smoothness just to put a nice edge on your filleting knives for fillet fish meat whatever a thousand's a good one okay so most of us buy a thousand the 400 being a rough one that's for if you've got your knife's a bit blunt uh not blunt but it's got a few little chips and the blade's a bit roughed up the 400 you can actually work it and take all those chips and stuff out and take quite a bit of metal off and you know put the edge on you want and then you flip it over to a thousand and make it nice and sharp okay uh, so the thousand is usually the one you want to buy or if you're just starting out to look at and as you see here I've got another one as well this one's three thousand to eight thousand okay this one's basically so you get your you can get your knives really razor sharp these are actually quite a smooth stone the three thousand and eight thousand these are ones you'll probably find in more kitchens because once you get your nice edge with uh, say the one thousand if you want to touch up a bit more to cut like soft fruit like tomatoes and things you're struggling to you know slice to tomatoes sharp on drop them on one of these stones your knives on one of these stones like an eight thousand or eight thousand or three thousand usually uh three thousand's enough but some guys like the eight i don't mind touching up with the eight if i really want to get it you know fine-tuned that's one way to put it just you now you cut tomatoes really finely so these are just, just different grades. These are a lighter. They're a bit, a lot smoother, okay? And they will really hone in on your knife edge to, you know, cut like soft vegetables. But to start out with, and just for cutting meat and what we're going to be mainly building, filleting, fish, just look for a 1,000. 1,000 is a good all-rounder to start with, okay? And the other thing is too, guys, if you buy whetstones, when you first get them, a lot of people don't know this, when you first get them, or if they've been sitting around for a while, you haven't used them in a long time, I've got my old bucket, a bucket of fresh water here. These, just drop them in the water, okay? Drop them in the water and just leave them there for about five minutes. Let the water soak through. You'll see a heap of bubbles and stuff coming out of them when they're dry. And just give them a real good, a real good soak, okay? You should always do that if they've been sitting around for a while. Um, even if you go before you go out fishing, haven't used them for a while, just give them a good soak. Which one's a thousand? And then they'll be right. You go out fishing, when you get back, all you've got to do is, before you sharpen a knife, just get a bit of fresh water off a tap or on your hand and just wet it down like so, because it's soaked up all the water already, you're good to go. It's that simple. Just make sure if it's been sitting around for a while and dry, just soak it in a tar bowl or a sink or something. Just, you know, let the water soak through. Okay, so you've got the two stones. Next thing is, these things are like a guide. I don't particularly use these or like them personally, but... If you're new to it and having trouble with stones, with stones, you need to put your knife on an angle. You've got to find the angle, okay? And generally, what I'm going to say is once you start sharpening a knife, only you sharpen that knife when you're doing this, because you'll always pretty much go back to the same angle, so it'll work for you. So if somebody else grabs it, they're going to put your knife on a different angle. There goes your edge. You have to start from scratch, start again, okay? So once you start sharpening your own knives, um, only do you're the only one that touches your knife, especially your good knives. If you're not sure on the angle, you can buy these slides. And what they do is they just go on your knife like so, okay? And you put them on your stone, and that will actually show your edge. It might be about 20 degrees. You can see the edge there, and then you can start, you know, building using this, running that up and down like so. 
and it'll give you, and you go to the other side, it gives you, you know, a good edge, both sides. The only thing I don't like about them, they're not real good with filling knives, because they're quite, they can, you know, your knife disappears inside them. I'm not sure if you can get smaller ones of these, hopefully you can, but with your, like, your kitchen knives, like your thicker blades, like your deeper blades, these things are really handy, especially on the really big, like, meat cutting ones, you can put these on, and they'll keep it on the same edge all the time when you're doing it, and really help you out, especially if you're new to it, okay? They're about five or six bucks. You can buy them online or in kitchen shops or anywhere. They're just, uh, I don't think they were called a slide, knife slide or something. Put them on and there you go. But we'll drop that back in the water. What we're gonna do now is sharpen the knife. So what I've got over here is my old trusty book. Everyone that's a bit wet, clean, muck around with water. And I was just gonna show you, these knives aren't really that sharp, so that's more cutting than, ri uh, that's more ripping. It's, not, it's got a little bit of an edge on it, but nothing fancy. So, what we're going to do is sharpen the knives. So, a bit of water on there. All we're going to do, guys, I'll, 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 I know the angle, I'll, there's my angle there. I've got a cut, I'll, I'll cheat, I've got to be a split thumb. So, I'll put my thumb on there, the back edge near the split, and that's the edge. And I know that's the angle, I can feel it on my wrist, and there's the angle I want to use. And now we're just going to go up and down like so, move it along the knife. Okay. And use try and use a whole the whole stone so you're not just using the middle section. Because they will, you know, just bury and you know, lose lose in the middle. You have got a flattening stone there, you can flatten them out. So just keep doing that, okay? And then what we don't want to do is flip over. And once again, I've got me thumb, but my angle's about there, I know what it is anyway, so like so. Put a bit of pressure on the blade, and once again, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Don't have to do a lot, and when it starts getting gunky like so, you just need a bit of water on there, okay? I'll wipe that stuff off. Yeah, there's a bit of an edge there, it's not bad. Back there, I'm gonna do a couple more on this side. Okay. Like so. Give that a wipe down. Now we can get our paper back and see if it cuts a bit better. Okay, so we'll all right, guys, straight through, nice and easy. All right, not even, not even ripping. How sharp that is already. So that's not bad. I'd use that for filling as is. That's quite sharp now. It's actually very sharp. But if you really want to find a tuner a bit more, you can get your old, like the um, other one, like three thousand or eight thousand out. The real, I'm going to go the eight thousand. That's really, really smooth. And same deal. Just to, just to smooth the edge off and make a razor sharp. Same same deal, so got me a little crack of my thumb there. Same sort of edge. My wrist is ready there. Okay. Doesn't need much on this on this stone. Okay. Flip her over, it's about the same height there, same angle. There we go. I don't want to get it too dry. Give her a wipe down. Keep me thing out a little water. And it should be nice and sharp. Oh. It just cuts straight through. Huh? Straight through, guys. It's so easy. So that's how basically you sharpen a knife. It's not that hard. Okay. That one's done. That one's ready to get to a little fish. Now, we'll just do one more just for the show ya. This one, this is my favourite filling and knife. This, this thing's blunt as. I mean, that's just, that's done. This is not going to cut paper at all. This is, yeah, it's just ripping, it's not even cutting. It won't even cut. She's done. So for that one, what I'm going to do, 
Let's flip over, over to the 400 side. Give me a little stainer wet. Put it back in the holder. You can buy these stone sets, guys, online, kitchen shops, all over the place. Um, they're not that expensive. It can range from 10 bucks to, say, 50 or 60 bucks. Generally, I'll try and buy one around 40 or 50 dollars. Spend a bit of money, get a good quality stone. You don't want to go to like um, the stores and buy these t cheap ten dollar stones because they don't sharpen your knives. All they do is just wear away. There's nothing there. That's that's just the crap. Spend some money, get a good quality stone. All right. Okay, and a holder with a bit of rubber matting and stuff so I can sit on the bench. Now this one's going to take some work. Careful guys. Yeah. So you don't need a lot when you do this. It's easier when you're at a ta table with a tap or something, saves dripping water everywhere like I'm doing. Now, other side, here's me angle. When you're doing this too guys i've got a bit of pressure on this knife i'm not doing it lightly i'm putting a bit of pressure on it because you take you're shaving off the steel you want to you want to shave the steel off you don't want to push the bejesus out of it you want to put you know, a couple of pounds of pressure on there so the stone's doing its job okay so i'll just go out of here see if it's any sharper yeah This one's been cut, but holy crap, it is blunt. Okay, so that should be enough of that one. I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna go back to the thousand side. See if we can hone in there. This one's a real mess, this one, this knife. And it's not gonna get any better if I keep doing that. Okay. I'm dripping water everywhere, I'm making a huge mess in here, but that's all right. Back on the angle, and there we go. Keep it nice and I'm taking a bit of steel off today. We're trying to give this a good edge. Okay. And this one, hopefully, now is get a decent piece of paper. Okay, so basically they're up. I haven't... Put much of a blade on this, on the end. See how she goes. Aha! There we go, guys. Now, after all that, what took what five minutes? 
Yeah, now she's sharp. Now she's sharp. Still got a bit of a blunt spot in the start here. I can feel that, son of a... So I've just got to work this area here, but from here up, that's all razor sharp. So that's not bad either. We'll keep that one at that. Uh, considering five minutes ago, I couldn't even cut paper. It was blunt as. It was like a butter knife. Anyway, guys, that's how you do it. I've made a hell of a mess here. <laughs> I really have. Too much water. So get yourself a decent stone. So if that, look at a thousand grit. It's a good stone to start off with. Get one of those levelers if you're not sure on the, on the uh, angle. Okay, it should be about 20 degrees, I think they keep on saying. So once you put it in there, it should be about 20 degrees for the edge. And then, <laughs> then flip it over and back and towards. Make sure the stone's nice and wet. Give the stone a soaking before you start. And then a bit of water on it occasionally. Like I said, it's a lot easier when you're near a sink or a tap. You don't make a mess like I've made here. And yeah, and be the only one that sharpens your knives because that's... That's the angle I do it. If somebody else grabs this knife, now they're going to put it on a different angle. This will go back to square one, which might have happened to this knife. It might be why it's so freaking blunt. I don't know. I can't remember. But just you're the only one that sharpens it. And now, every time I go catch a fish, fill a fish, it won't need as much work. Just a couple up and down, a couple up and down on the side after you wet the stone. And should be good to go, guys. You know, it doesn't need a lot of work once you get the edge on there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I am going to say sorry, I haven't posted in the last few weeks, I have been very sick, um, yeah, I've done, I haven't done any fishing, a little bit of work, not much else guys, I've just been, I've been very sick, so hopefully from now on I'll get back into the videos, uh, maybe a bit more fishing, and I'm also getting set to move to Cairns, so I'm in the process of moving and hiring trucks and doing everything else, so yeah, we have slowed down a little bit in the videos, but I'll keep on, I'll keep on putting them through, okay, and thanks once again. Thanks for being part of the, and watching, being part of the, you know, Shannon's Fishing, and I'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.